Today, we are going to talk about creating binary min heaps using the bubble up and bubble down algorithms. So you might be wondering, what do all those words mean? What is a binary min heap? What are bubble up and bubble down? A min heap is one of two types of priority queues, min and max heaps. These types of heaps are created by using efficient sorting algorithms to insert and delete values in minimum or maximum priority order. In a min heap, which is the focus of this presentation, consider a binary search tree where every parent's node's children have a greater value than the parent, resulting in the root node being the minimum value of the heap. For our program, we implemented binary min heaps using a single array, where each index is a node in the tree. For the program, we needed to be able to traverse our tree arrays. To do the traversal of the tree array, you need to know a few things. Which index is the parent node, and which index is the left and right children of the current node. Now, our second set of questions, what are bubble up and bubble down? They are different methods for constructing a sorted binary heap. A way that they differ is bubble up sorts during the building of the tree, and bubble down sorts after the tree is completely constructed. In the following algorithms, we will be using a test array of 5, 3, 8, 1, 2, 6, 9, 4, and 7. Now let's talk about bubble up. The bubble up method is called with an array and the position of the node that was inserted into the array. So we insert the first node, and let's make it 5. The algorithm checks that the current node isn't the root because it cannot make any comparisons since it does not have a parent. The next node is 2, and inserted at position 1. Since it is not the root, the method compares the value of the current node with the parent node and performs a swap when the current node is less. In this case, 3 is less than 5, so the swap occurs and 3 now becomes the parent and also the root, so it stops. Let's insert another node with the value of 8. 8 has position 2 in the array, so it will compare with the parent and we can see that the parent is less, so the swap does not occur. When the swap does not occur, or the current position has reached the root, then it ends the loop and moves into the next inserted element, and repeats. If the swap does not occur, then the current node moves up the tree and compares until it reaches the root node. Let's insert one last node with a value of 1 at position 3. Because we're building a min heap, you would expect to see it become the root. 1's parent is 5, so the swap will occur there, making 1 the new parent. The algorithm continues because we still haven't reached the root, so one compares with its parent, which is three, and another swap occurs. Just like we thought, one is the root and the algorithm stops until the next input. You can see now that after going through each insertion that these comparisons are being made and nodes are changing locations, but one will never be swapped again because it is the absolute minimum value in this specific heap. Let's move on to the bubble down algorithm. Bubble down, or heapify, is called through a descending for loop with the pre-initialized array and the current position in the loop. The algorithm starts by defining the two child nodes and setting the minimum to the left child in the case that there is no right child node. Since the array was pre-initialized, we look at the nodes at the bottom that contain children, which are these nodes right here, one, two, six, and nine. The loop goes from bottom to top and left to right, so we look at one first and look at its children, four and seven, right here. Then the comparison is made between the minimum of the two children and the new minimum is set. Here we can see that 4 is less than 7, so the minimum node is 4. What happens next is that the minimum is compared to the position slash parent node, because it's the same thing. If the child is less than the parent, then the swap will occur, and position of the current node becomes the position of the min value node. Here, 4 is not less than 1, so the swap will not occur, and we move to the next position. However, 2, 6, and 9 do not have children, so we will move on to the next set of values. Now we will be looking at 3, which has children 1 and 2. 1 is less than 2, so it becomes the minimum value, and compare that to 3. 1 is also less than 3, so we swap those two values, and 1 becomes the parent node. But wait, there's more. The conditions state that we still have to check that 3 does not contain children lesser in value, and we can see it does not, so we move on to 8 as the new position. Uh, 8 has children 6 and 9, with the minimum being 6. 6 swaps with 8, and there's no need to continue because there are no further children over here. Finally, we've reached the root node. You can see that 1 is the minimum value here, so 1 
gets swapped with 5, and becomes the new root node, just as we should have expected. And since it is the smallest value in our heap, it should not be moved anymore. However, 5 still has to compare its value to its children. 2 is the minimum value child, and it is less than 5, so another swap occurs here, and 5 has no more children, so we will end it there. Then we move up to the next set of nodes, which only has the root, and we already know 1 is the smallest value in this heap. So this heap is sorted min heap bubble down style. <laughs>